When Ocean Optics was founded, it was with one simple goal, to create modular spectroscopy equipment that would allow researchers to take the measurement to the sample, rather than being confined to a lab. Since then, Ocean Optics spectrometers have climbed volcanoes, monitored coral reefs, and navigated desert terrain. In that spirit, let's head to Florida's Honeymoon Island State Park with a team of our staff scientists to see what they can measure from a remote research station. Their tools, a few flame spectrometers, light sources, accessories, and a NeoFox oxygen system. Small enough to fit into a plastic bag, yet flexible enough to measure a wide variety of samples. By using modular components, they are able to reconfigure the system for different measurements within just minutes, using fiber optic and direct attach connections that are instantly aligned. Wizards in LabVIEW like schematics and our OceanView software simplify analysis of spectra. On the water, they can measure solar spectra and UV index at the very point where the plant or animal under study would experience it. Honeymoon Island's ecosystem includes beaches, mangroves, and tidal flats, and is home to a plethora of wildlife that depends upon the quality of its shallow waters. Assessing the health of this ecosystem might include measuring absorbance of water from different locations. UV vis absorbance can provide information about contaminants or bacteria and algae growth supported by pH and oxygen measurements. Reflection measurements from rocks and shells within the water can also provide clues, while on-site testing allows events like a seagrass die-off to be studied with the freshest samples possible. Irradiance measurements are important in environmental and ecological research, affecting how plant and animal life grows and thrives at the surface and below the waves. Reflection measurements of mangrove leaves test their health and is linked to the water quality below, as studied by absorbance. This in turn affects the shrimp population, a source of food for indigenous birds. The in situ advantage is even greater for animals like fish, stingrays, and hermit crabs, which can easily be stressed during measurement. Studying these creatures in their native habitat allows a greater number of specimens to be evaluated in a more natural physiological state. The diversity of measurements possible with just a small amount of ocean optics modular equipment enables an entire ecosystem to be studied simultaneously. By bringing the measurement to the sample in habitats like these, ocean optics equipment supports efforts in research and science, environmental monitoring, and education. To learn more about our work in these areas, visit oceanoptics.com.